Hey, welcome back, explorers. Very excited today. Today, we're not at an abandoned farmhouse. Today, we're at an abandoned shipwreck. There's a tugboat behind me. Hey, welcome back, explorers. Today, we're not at an abandoned house. We're at an abandoned shipwreck. Can't wait to show you guys this place. I actually came here, I've been coming here since I was a little kid, and I try to get out here every few years when I can. Um, but there's actually about 22 shipwrecks here, and today I'm gonna explore one of them. This ship actually sank in 1885. It's been sitting here ever since. So I'm gonna put everything in the description, so make sure you take a look at that, and I'm gonna uh, let you know throughout the video some information about this shipwreck. So yeah, I'm actually a certified open water scuba diver, but today I'm not going scuba diving. This wreck is pretty shallow, so I'm just gonna take my kayak, I'm gonna get some drone footage, I'm gonna get my GoPro, get some underwater shots. I can't wait, hope it turns out. Let's go, guys. Okay, we're almost there. A little bit further. I can see the buoys. A little bit further here. The sweepstakes was a two-masted schooner ship and was built in Burlington, Ontario, Canada in 1867. The schooner ship was 119 feet long, 20 feet in depth, and weighed approximately 218 tons. That's a whopping 436,000 pounds. On August 23rd, 1885, the ship called the Sweepstakes hit a rock near Cove Island and sank in shallow water close to the Big Tub Lighthouse. There was severe damage to the hull and was unrepairable. A short time later, on September 3rd, she was then towed into Big Tub Harbor by a tugboat and it sank to the bottom. Today, it still sits here and it's protected just like a historic house or a historic building. It is visited 
by many scuba divers, snorkelers, and tour boats, usually in the summer months. For both conservation and safety, penetration of the shipwreck is not permitted at any time. There's actually cages and bars installed on the ship so divers cannot penetrate this shipwreck. When scuba diving shipwrecks, the exhaled air bubbles can get trapped. And when it comes in contact with the shipwreck, the wood, it could cause rapid corrosion. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a bunch of pictures of the shipwreck on my Instagram. The link will be in the description. Check it out. Being a scuba diver myself, these shipwrecks actually get vandalized just like houses and abandoned buildings. Same thing. Um, there's been known scuba divers to go down in these shipwrecks and, you know, peel off a piece of wood or take some equipment off it and, you know, hang it up on their wall or they carve their name into it. But these things, they're protected and it's frowned upon and against the law to do anything like that to these shipwrecks. There is another shipwreck next to this one I'm showing you today. It's called the City of Grand Rapids. I'll probably show, show this in another video, but I'll give you a bit of information on it now. It was built in 1879. It was 121 feet long. It was a double-decked steamer. In the night of October 29, 1907, a fire broke out well docked in Little Tub Harbor. The captain ordered the tugboat to tow the burning vessel out into the harbor and release it. The city of Grand Rapids then drifted into Big Tub Harbor next to this other shipwreck. It continued to burn and eventually came to a rest at the end of the harbor where it burned completely and sunk to the bottom where it sits today. Hey, welcome back guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. In the future, I'm probably gonna do some scuba diving and do some video of all these shipwrecks. So stay tuned, because I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. I just need to get some good, uh, good quality underwater camera equipment, because I can't take this camera here. This is not waterproof. And my GoPro is not, not the best either. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I go, I'd like to say thank you to Robbie and Mariska, Brenda, Tiffany, Stephanie, Tammy, Lisa, Sharon, William, Christine, Becky, and Valerie for donating on my coffee page. Really appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to donate too, you're welcome to do so. In, uh, in all my videos in the description, there's a link there. You click the link and you can buy me a coffee or you donate more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The shipwreck was amazing. I'll see you on the next Explore.